everyone, welcome to another video. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you some new stuff. Two new handbags, something from Chanel, something from Dior, a hat that I haven't quite figured out how you wear it just yet, but it looks really sweet. And as I go, I thought I would just catch up with you because um, I've been, throughout the month of October, I've been really rubbish with uploading and I've missed loads of upload days and for example this is going to be going out on a Friday it was meant to go out yesterday but I hadn't even filmed it at the time when's I don't even know anyway as some of you know I went away for business and then when I came back to the UK I got back here essentially kind of like the beginning of the second week in October and I'd run out of videos and I normally for any of you who want to do YouTube with a full-time job, the easiest way of doing it, and this has always worked for me, is take one weekend of every month and spend the whole day filming. Just go and film like loads of videos and then any vlogs you film in the month, that's just an added bonus. But once I've got like a big bank full of videos, all I really need to do is um, is like find the time to edit them, which I normally do in the evenings and stuff like that. So if you're thinking of doing YouTube, but you've won you like you wonder how are you going to do it, then that's my tip. But anyway, I got called up this month, and I haven't had the chance to refilm a whole load of stuff, and I I'm going to do it on the weekend. Anyway, I wanted to come on here and chat. So um, shall I start with? I'm going to start with the two bags, which are on the floor. Ooh. Okay, the first bag. It's in here and this is a brand that I've been looking at for a long time and I decided to get it. It's the weirdest thing but it's kind of cute. It's this. This bag is by a brand called, I think it's called Elmi and um, you know the first place that I saw this bag, this is made out of sheep skin, sheep wool, 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 shearling. It is so soft and squishy and I'd seen this, uh, I think on Instagram or something. Oh, it has a strap. Oh, I didn't know that. See, this has just turned up. All of these Elmi bags, they're quite small size. Uh, you can get different colors. A lot of them are just plain leather. You can get, I think there's this mini size and then a slightly larger one that's got, uh, you can get a thicker strap that's a different color. And I thought I'd try it. And for the price, this was around about £340, something like that. And I didn't pay that for it because Louisa Vioroma, for the last while, have been running like a 20% off. Um, and so I got it using that and that's where I got it from. Um, as I say, you can get it in loads of different colours. And I, I don't know, I really... Um, I really love my designer bags, but I particularly love bags that are not high-end designer. Does that make sense? Like, I like a bit of variety. Uh, and also, I think, with designer bags, I'm kind of getting a bit bored because there's no, like, new styles out or anything different. And I feel like I've got everything that I really like. And so when it comes to jazzing up an outfit with something a bit different that doesn't cost a fortune, that's another thing. I like having bags that are not loads of money, so I haven't got to worry about them too much. This came in its own dust bag. So that's that one. And I'm going to link details of that below. The next bag that I've got is in here. This is a Senrev bag and this is a bag that I bought. So some of you will know Senrev because I know they do a lot of stuff on social media. They've personally given me two bags in the past and they've also paid me in the past to do a couple of videos for them. So that's how I know of them. Now over the summer, I went to Venice and I took with me the Mini Maestra in the coral color, which is a bag they gifted me uh, back in 2018. And I liked it so much that when I, I use that bag a lot anyway. I've really, really used it up. <laughs> so I've wanted to get the Mini Maestra in uh, like a black color since the summer, but I didn't realize the Senrev factory, everything is handmade in Italy and all of their bags, well, the factory closes for holiday all throughout the month of August. So when I looked in August, there was nothing on there, no stock. And I kept looking 
And then when I was away, I was checking and it just so happened that this one came in stock. So you can get the Mini Maestra in two, in two maybe three types of leather. You've got the crocodile effect. You've got this, which is called Mimosa. And then you've got the, the pebbled leather. Now the pebbled leather is what I've got in the coral colored bag. The pebbled leather feels softer. This feels a lot more robust. And this one I feel looks a bit more matte whereas the pebbled one looks like it's got a sheen to it. It's not that it actually does, I just think it's the way this leather looks. This I would most compare to the Louis Vuitton Epi leather. It's kind of what it looks like. And I use these bags a lot for days where I don't want to carry a whole load of stuff. I also, I plan on using this for work. I don't use the coral one for work because the color of it doesn't really work for work. Um, I have a bigger size one that I keep my laptop in that I use for that. But I wanted a smaller size that I could use for weekends, for work, for travel. These are so good. They're really, you can be really organized on the inside. The inside of them is what I like the most. I really like that being able to look like peer in and everything's got its space and everything's in the right place. I really like the quality of these bags and I think that for the price, I think they're really good. And this isn't an ad. I'm gonna show you my receipt. I've bought this with my own money. I never buy from any places using my, um, like my public email address or my name. Um, I actually do that for security, but the reason why I say that is in case any of you are thinking, well, hang on a minute. They might have seen you in the orders and like given you some perk. I, they don't know I've done this. I did use a 10% off coupon, which anyone can get. It was, when I was on the site, it flashed up and it said if you sign up with a new email address that you could get 10% off. So I did that. So that's that bag. Now for a couple of things from Chanel and Dior. I'm gonna start with the Chanel thing and I've gotta be uh, honest about this. I don't know what I've done with it. <laughs> it's in this room somewhere. I've been looking for the longest time for this stupid item and I don't know where it is, but it's a good thing I recorded it the other day. So um, in a video you're gonna see coming up, I, I've done a vlog and I did it a couple of weeks ago and I went and had a look at the new Chanel winter collection and it was slim pickings. There wasn't much left when I went there. Now, when I was there, I did try on a couple of items and when you see that video, do you remember that vlog I did where I tried on that, that dress that was, oh, I don't want to offend anyone who's got any of this, by the way, that's not the intention of it. But that dress that I tried on was so too much in every way. I tried it on for the vlog. Uh, that's not the kind of thing that I would ever wear. And that's no disrespect to anyone who's got it. That's just my personal taste. But when I went back in to try on stuff from the new collection, I tried on some stuff from the Coco Niche collection and my God, when you see it, it is so over the top. It's, I almost am thinking, do I even put that video live? Because it's just, I don't feel that it's doing the brand justice, but hey, they designed it. So, I mean, that's their problem, not really mine. But yeah, anyway, when I was in there, the only thing I did see that I liked was this brooch. And I'm gonna be doing a video on this coming up because I know this brooch is quite popular at the moment and I've got some ideas for how I'm gonna wear it. So I will be doing that. Then from Dior, I shall open as I talk. So I'd gone into Dior. Why did I go in there again? Oh yeah, I'd gone in there for this belt, which I've been wanting for weeks and months. I managed to get it in the end online and I got it yesterday. And it's kind of my fault really, because with this belt, it's the saddle belt and it's been out for weeks, probably months as part of the winter collection, which came out in I think July or something. And it's only now that I've just realized I like and must have this belt. And of course it's like sold out everywhere, but I managed to find one left online and I bought it and it turned up today and it fits and I'm really pleased. But while I was in there, another thing that I had uh, wanted was this wallet, which I'd seen back in July when I bought my denim saddlebag. I saw this wallet in the maroon color and I, I like it. It's kind of vintage feeling. However, they didn't have any blue left. Then I managed to get a blue one. So that's what I have. I quite like this purse. 
It's got quite a sweet section on the inside, like a zip section where you can keep coins. I probably won't keep coins in there because I never normally have any and they can sometimes distort the shape, but it's nice to be able to have it. So that is the purse, the wallet. And then the final thing, you know, I told you I've got this hat and I'm not quite sure how, how to wear it. Well, the reason why I say I don't know how to wear it is because the shapes, I think I just need to figure it out. It's a pink beret. Can you tell I'm on a pink thing? So uh, now look at this, it's molded. Can you see it's actually like berries are normally really soft and I saw this and I thought I'm gonna give this a go because I like the way it's already got a robust shape to it. And I think the way it goes is like this. How does it go? Hang on, hang on. Is that even on? Yeah, I think it is. I think that's how you're meant to wear it. So you can get it in pink and in baby blue. I quite like this. Not with this outfit, it's too much, but I really do like this. Shall I show you this sweater, by the way? Because this is kind of current-ish, for any of you who want to see. And it's got, what I quite like about it, it's got shoulder pads, so it's quite structured here. It's quite like boxy here. It's quite, it's kind of different and it's kind of not. You know why as well I liked it is because whenever I wear berries, I always get myself in a muddle with the position they're meant to be on the head. Like what, what percentage is meant to be up here and what is meant to be, I can never do it. Whereas with this, it's already done for me. I can't get it wrong, really. And I thought just with like a black belted coat and a pink bag, just imagine pink bag, black coat, I think, quite nice so that I think that's everything I'm gonna link to everything below in the description and I feel like there was something I was gonna tell you and I can't remember what it was I mean it wasn't that exciting oh I don't know anyway look thanks for watching see you in the next video